good. This is just my professional stunt double, Evelyn Osario Vaquero. Evelyn, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I hit the ground for a living. Hmm, that's right. Really, she's a professional stunt double. She's appeared in things like Luke Cage, Orange is the New Black, and more. So why is she in this Apple Watch Series 4 review? Well, because the new Apple Watch doesn't only look sleeker, it has new health and fitness features, including one that detects falls. So here's the premise of this review. Evelyn and I, were training for a fight. Okay, well, more Evelyn's training. And we're putting the new watch's fall detection and fitness features through the paces. Turns out, fake falling is really hard. Seriously, please don't try this at home. So get close to the ground, bend those knees, close to the ground, lift those arms, use your body. There you go. Yes, turns out that the Apple Watch really does know when you're just playing around. Nothing. That's because the improved gyroscope and accelerometer in the Series 4 monitor for wrist trajectory, speed, and more. Apple even showed this weird diagram during its keynote of the three different types of falls the watch can detect. And so here we are. I had Evelyn do a series of falls that followed some of the examples that Apple showed. The first fall we tried was during a fight with her training partner and competitive boxer, Michelle Herzl. Evelyn flung herself away and landed on her back. Okay, moment of truth, fall detected. It looks like you've taken a hard fall. Do we want to contact emergency services? I fell, but I'm okay. What about a slip? Yep, fall detected. What about a trip? Fall detected. What about a trip into a tumble? Weird, no fall detected. If you remain immobile for about a minute after your fall, it begins a 15 second countdown and sounds an alarm. When the countdown ends, it automatically contacts emergency services and sends a message to your emergency contact. If you've entered your age during setup and you're 65 and over, fall detection is automatically on. Everyone else has to turn it on manually in the iPhone Watch app. Okay, time out. I realize these falls are fun to watch, even funny. But in real life, falling is no laughing matter. And from these tests, if you're prone to falling, the Apple Watch would be a good investment. And that's not just for older people. Chances are you aren't buying the Series 4, which starts at $400, strictly for fall detection. It also features a new bigger screen, slimmer design, and fitness features. So we tested those too. When Evelyn and I went for a run, the watch automatically detected the workout. Although this only works for certain workouts, like running and walking. So all that time we spent punching bags and forgot to turn on the workout on the watch? A waste. In fact, other than the new EKG feature on the Series 4, which isn't yet available, most of the other new health and fitness features are available on older models with the watchOS 5 software update. But you won't get the 30% bigger screen, which you'll appreciate if you're a stunt body or just a home body. And the new speakers are louder, which makes that new walkie-talkie feature much easier to hear. Hey, yo, all is good. Hold on a second. With new antennas on the front and back, the cellular version, which costs $100 more, seemed to have stronger connectivity than the older Series 3. And the battery life has been solid, lasting a day and a half. If you've held out for an Apple Watch or you have the first or second generation, the Series 4 is the one to get. I guess you could say I've finally, well, fallen for it. <laughs>